Hello everybody, welcome back to Making It Up. I'm Isa. I'm coming to you live looking like a mess because miraculously today I have somewhere to go so I'm gonna be getting ready and I thought let's just turn on the camera and hang out. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I just want to show you my makeup. I'm not gonna do anything revolutionary but I just want to hang out and chat as I show you my makeup. Maybe even an outfit if I like the way it turns out and I find a way to film it that looks nice so yeah there may be a fun surprise at the end of this video but yeah I just want to hang out with you guys turn this into something a little more presentable because I want to look cute and feel myself today an excuse I can have I'll take it so come get ready with me Okay, so for the face, ignore this big ginormous zit that I have that's ready to pop. I, I'm trying not to pop it, okay? But let me just grab my hair. I'm gonna start off with the eyes. I just wanna have a little bit of fun. I don't wanna do anything crazy. And as always, first things first, I'll just add a bit of concealer so that I don't miss it later on and I don't like mess up my eyeshadow. Cool, and because I do want to do a little bit of eyeshadow today, I'm in the mood. I'm going to go in with my KVD Shake Primer. And let's just apply a little bit of this. Now, I'm not entirely sure what the look is going to turn out like, but I'm just thinking something super neutral. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started while we can chat. Just going in with the About Face Fluid Eye Paint in the shade Smell Before Rain as my base. And I want to chat a little bit about the Victoria, why do I always call it the Victoria Secret Sale? <laughs> the Sephora VIB Sale. For some reason, this year I'm not very pumped. Like other years I've been super excited. I've had shit I wanted to buy. Um, and I've been wanting to, you know, I wanted to do like a lot of videos, a lot of recommendation videos. This year I didn't do that. Um, I did one for my Instagram, like a few reels, like something quick. Because I honestly don't feel like it's very exciting anymore. I like shopping at other places better which is weird because Sephora has always been like my place but I don't know I just feel like I'm not even a VIB Rouge anymore so I don't get like the 20% off and everything that I buy I just like to buy it at Ulta because I can use my points as money so I really did limit myself to buy only what I needed like I had a list of things that I needed or things that I there was a perfume that I was eyeing for a while so I bought the sample size with the 15% off that I got so things like that I think are worth it but in general I've stopped like I used to go crazy but I don't think it's that great of a sale anymore to be honest with you also another thing that I've noticed is I loved the VIB sale to be able to purchase like Natasha Denona, which is, I'm using the Biba palette right now, I love it a lot, or like Pat McGrath. They're amazing brands, they're obviously super expensive, and I used to use the VIB sale to get their stuff, which honestly, it's not a bad thing, but I find that at least for Pat McGrath, she always has like a 25% off sale on her own website, so that's way better than the Sephora VIB sale even for the Rouge people because you only get 20% so if you really want a palette from Pat McGrath you can save more from buying it directly off her website so yeah I'm just over the Sephora VIB sale for now maybe there's nothing that I really really want like I got practical things like I'm running out of my vitamin C I just got a new vitamin C serum and I did get a few fun things because obviously it wouldn't be me without buying things that I don't need. But I'm trying to limit myself. But if you guys are shopping the VIB sale and you're looking for some recommendations, let me know. I will leave all of my past recommendations videos, which I stand by. Most of those videos have things that you can still buy. Some might be like limited edition things, but for the most part, I think you could buy them. And if you're looking for like specific recommendations for things, you can ask me down below or on Instagram DMs. But yeah, how are you guys feeling about it? Like, I wanna ask you because I'm curious. I've seen some people be like, I'm over it. I've seen some people super excited for it. So let me know your thoughts below. Are we kind of like on the same wavelength? Are you super excited? Did you buy a ton of exciting things? Let me know the tea. I'm testing out my new contact lenses today, you guys. And I think I put them in the wrong eye, but I can see very well with this eye. Not so great with this eye. What's going on? To be completely honest with you guys, I hadn't done eyeshadow in so long, and I am so happy. Like, this is the most basic eyeshadow look ever, but I'm just happy that I'm doing eyeshadow. I think I need to, like, switch my contacts around because this is really bugging me. 
BRB. Okay, I don't know if that's better, but I'm gonna give my eyes a bit of a rest. I'm gonna move on to my face and then I'll do mascara. For the face, I'm gonna start with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I just want a little bit of a glow today. Not too much. That's why I'm doing it before my foundation. We are highlighting the zit right now. And then for my base, I'm doing the Fenty Ease Drops in number five. You guys know I love these. And applying them with the hand is my favorite thing ever. Going back with concealer, I'm using one of my favorite mixes ever, Rare Beauty Concealer and the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo. I can never remember the name of that Rare Beauty Concealer, but trust that it is pretty full coverage, like the mixture of these two, and it might be a little bit too light for now, but it's fine. We'll blend it out under the eyes. And I like these like mini beauty sponges. This one's from Real Techniques because you can really go in with this side and like sharpen everything up. Make it look like you know what you're doing when you really don't. I'm gonna bronze a little bit with the Denisa Myricks Balm Contour, Balm Bronzer. I don't know the name of this. Everything will be down below, but let me just grab a brush. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to my face. This is really potent. And we're just gonna warm up a little. For a blush, I'm doing the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palette. This one's in Rosewood. I haven't really used this one in a while. That's why I'm bringing it out today. I really like it and it's more of like a neutral, well, I'm not gonna say neutral, but it's not super peachy, which I always tend to go for. And then to add a little bit of powder, you guys know what I'm gonna use? The Kosa's Breezy Cloud Set. This one's amazing. If you haven't picked it up and you're looking for a new powder during the Sephora sale, dude, this one is so good, so good. And I'm just gonna do my mascara quickly so we can move on. I'm using Tower 28 Make Waves, by the way, the only mascara that I've been able to use lately. For brows, I'm doing a bit of the Kosas Brow Pop in Dark Brown. This is an amazing pencil and I haven't used it in a while. I'm just bringing it out to play and I'm just adding a bit of color to the areas that are sparse. And then I'm doing a bit of the Refi Brow Sculpt. I haven't used this one again in a while, so I thought I'd bring it back. Can you tell this is my chaotic brow? It's literally going all over the place and this one's just so groomed. Crazy sister, groomed sister. Last but not least, we have the lips. I'm gonna keep it super natural and simple. I'm gonna use the NARS Air Matte Lip Color in Surrender. Again, another color that I haven't used in so long. I'm just gonna first line with my NYX Lip Pencil in Nude Beige. Adding a little bit of the lip color. I really like these. And I haven't used it in so long. I don't know, like I like the blurred effect. I like that it's matte. I like this color, wow, I forgot about it. Because I'm actually leaving the house today, I'm gonna be setting with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And once everything is set, this is the look. I'm just gonna go get dressed and do something to my hair and I'll be right back to show you, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so for the outfit, I wanted to keep it relatively simple, but I still wanted to give it a little bit of an edge. It isn't exactly super cold here. It gets cold in the morning and at night, but in the middle of the day, it's kind of hot, so I went with layers. For starters, I did my Reformation t-shirt, which I love. I don't think they make it anymore, but it fits so well. I love it. It's like a baby tee. And then I went with my new baggy dad jeans from Levi's. They're so comfortable, so good. They're pretty baggy and big on me, so I had to belt them with a um Deegan Voltaire belt that I have. I bought it at a sample sale a while ago and I love the green. For my layers, I went in with a trench coat which I just bought from Target. There was a designer collab. I don't know the designer's name right off the top of my mind, so I'm gonna leave it down below if it's still there, but it's so nice. It's oversized. The sleeves are puffy. There's like scallops. 
is that how you say like a scalloped edge um, alongside I love it it doesn't exactly match the shirt but I don't mind I'll wear it I love the texture that it gives to the fit and then I have a sweater which I bought at H&M a long time ago I think I bought it in Australia it's one of my favorite sweaters ever it has so many colors it is green and it's super fun it's a fun purple color I'm just gonna drape that on top and I might put it on if it gets super cold later on. For my shoes, I was debating between black cowboy boots and these ones that I picked, which are from Jeffrey Campbell, but I just love these ones. They tie in with all the green in the outfit and they're just so interesting. They also have a little bit of a heel to give me a boost because I'm really tiny, but yeah, I love them and I love the texture that they give to the fit. As for accessories, I just went with some tiny gold hoops, which were my grandma's. They're vintage and I love them. For some necklaces, I went in with a snake chain from Gojana, I think, and then a more of a chain necklace, which I got as a gift for my mom, and I don't know where it's from. And then for my rings, I went in with my everyday ring, my Pamela Love eye ring, which Again, they don't make anymore. I love this so much. I wear it every day. And then I went with like a plastic green ring, which I bought at Urban Outfitters a while ago and I just, I really enjoy it. And that's the fit, guys. Super simple layers so I can be, you know, hot and cold as I wish. Okay, you guys, and that is it for today. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. I hope you had fun. This was a little bit chaotic, I must say. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. It was fun to chat and just hang out a little bit. I hope to see you back for some more videos, so make sure to subscribe. The button's down below. I'm always posting, like, easy and real makeup and beauty content with a little bit of lifestyle sprinkled in, so if that sounds like your cup of tea, then please make sure to subscribe and like this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I love you. I hope I get to see you right here for my next one. One. Yeah, that's it. I love you. Bye. <laughs>